guys, this is Wheezy, the Sexy Grandma 2K, and I'm coming at you with a quick tutorial. The tutorial we're going to be doing today is on the MC Milano Collection Wig Grip. And this is what it looks like. So the wig grip is a comfort band, and it secures wigs and scarves in place. It eliminates headaches. It prevents bald spots in your edges from going bald. Um, it's one size fits all because it's uh, adjustable with a Velcro uh, strap. I decided to do a tutorial on this because I've gotten several requests about it. And a lot of times people get them and they don't know how to use them properly. So then their unit isn't securely placed on their head. So I thought that I would show you guys how to use it properly. I ordered mine on Amazon uh, and I believe I pay $18.99 for them. I will leave a link in the comments for the uh, direct spot in Amazon uh, for the site where I get them. So, without further ado, let's hop right into this tutorial and learn how to wear a wig grip properly. Okay, guys, so the first thing some of you are going to want to do is, like, slick your baby hairs down first, because I know that's really the trend right now, and you all are all into that. Me, personally, I'm somebody's grandmother. My baby hairs have babies with baby hair. Um, so I don't generally slick my baby hair down too much cause I don't have baby hair. I got old folks hair, but, um, I'm still cute though. <laughs> but if you were going to slick your baby hair down the, um, I know a lot of, uh, of you, you will use the gel, the echo gel. You can use that. Um, if you have like more coarser hair or gray hair is very coarse, um, and, you need something like, like that's a little bit stronger to lay those hairs down because they pretty much have a mind of their own and they ain't finna just lay down easily. So what I have found works best for me when I'm trying to lay uh, some hair down is I use the uh, Cream of Nature Argon Oil Perfect Edges. And I generally get this at, uh, I usually get it at Walgreens, but you can get it at Walgreens in like the ethnic section where the hair stuff is for the ethnic um, culture, or you can get it at your local beauty supply, or of course, Amazon.com. <laughs> but, um, and this is what it looks like. I've been using this one in my girls. Um, but it's very, it's really kind of thick. And so it kind of really helps to lay the edges down better. And what I usually do is just put some on the back of my hand, uh, put a little bit on my edges, kind of slick them back. And then you can take like a, a toothbrush or you can take a small tooth comb and just kind of, you know, kind of start laying those edges back like that. Like I said, you can see all my gray. And gray hair don't be playing. It's like, uh, I'll lay back when I feel like laying back. So that's how I do mine. Whenever I wear wigs, I generally um, will put my hair in two French braids. And so as you can see, I just part it down the middle, brush it on both sides. I braid this side down and I braid this side down. Let me see if I can let you see the back. But don't be judging me about my part, okay? But I just do that. Okay. And the proper way to wear this now, guys, some people are just take it and they just slap it on and it's not going to work right because you didn't read the directions and take your time to do it correctly. Um, on the box, it tells you instructions right down here. And it says wear with label facing outward on right side of head as shown. And the nice thing about these they're reusable. You can wash them and they last you a very long time. And I just, I keep my boxes and I put them right back in here. And this one I have washed and it's still, you know, like looks brand new and keeps its shape. So don't be throwing these away, wasting coins, wash them girl, put them back in the container till you are ready to use it again. They do have tan, um, as well as brown. So it is Velcro. So you unhook the Velcro. See? And this is what it looks like all in one piece. 
Got a Velcro on this end. Okay, and it tells you this is the label that they want you to put on the right side of your ear. So you put it on your ear here, right over your ear on the right side. And I generally take my braids and kind of pull them up like that and put this right over the braid. Okay, and you're going to go right, like right above where you did your baby hairs, right above that hairline there. And I take that other braid and I just kind of, I just kind of shove them back in there and put the red grip right on top of my braid. Okay, and then Velcro it together just like that and, go, and push the braid down in there. It ain't got to be nothing all fancy. Okay, take your wig. And you guys know, like in a wig, it'll have ear tabs, okay? There's two ways you can put a wig on. You put these tabs right here on each side, one on each side of your ear. And that, uh, that'll put your wig on properly. Now, you can adjust it and move it to different places if you want a different kind of look. But that's how you put it on properly. Or, you know, like old people, they take their wig, they turn it upside down. So I would have the adjustable strap and the back um, comb away from me, okay? Because the wig is upside down like that. And they'll put the front part right on their forehead like this and put that cap right over the top of their head. But when you do that, then you got to flip all this hair back and adjust and all of that. So you can do it that way. It's going to show how old you are, however. <laughs> or bring it around the back of you find those ear tabs okay and then just put the the wig on with the ear tabs on each side like that and then you don't have all that hair flying everywhere so those are the two ways that you can also put a wig on okay so back to the wig grip so you want this hair sitting right okay you see how my wig grip is there just put it right on the other side of the wig grip okay so you don't want it to sit on top of the wig grip like that because then your wig grip going to show just pull it right past it right past your wig grip here make sure your side tabs are where you want them and your part is where you want it and girlfriend you in business comb your hair out And as you can tell, my wig is not slipping at all. It's on here tight. It's not going anywhere unless I physically try to move it. And even then, it kind of like suctions down on that wig grip and it's difficult to move. Okay? So that's the nice thing about a wig grip is that it, it secures that wig right on your head to where you need no hair pins, no nothing. All right, now I'm going to show you guys this wig on my head without a wig grip. So I'm going to take it off. I'm going to take this wig grip off. And I don't, I don't go anywhere without a wig grip anymore unless I secure my hair down with got to be glued on the front. But even then, I still wear my wig grip underneath because it just makes me feel so much more secure. And uh, it makes the wig just fit better on my head. But if I weren't, if I w didn't wear a wig grip and I just had a stocking cap or nothing, let me show you the difference. So I put the wig on your head. See, the hair moves. The hair will move on you. So it's not snug by any means. It lifts right off. Ain't nobody got time for that. That ain't cute. If I go somewhere and try to be cute and sling my hair and rub my hands through it and then my wig slide back like that, that is not cute. That is too much playing, okay? That's not going to happen to me with a wig grip on my head. All right? So that, my dears, is how you use a Milano wig grip. All right, guys, remember what I always say to show somebody a little piece of heaven. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. Get with it. Hit it. And give me a thumbs up. Hit that blue thumbs up button. And make sure you share, share, share my videos with others in order to help the Wheezy community grow. All right, guys. Have a blessed day. This is Wheezy, the sexy grandma 2K. And I'm out. Bye.